Spears Computer World here with a review of the Zara Designer Pro X365 guarantee, which means that you'll get updates once you purchase or upgrade this software. You'll get updates throughout the year. You won't have to wait a full year to get the new and improved enhancements uh, to the Zara Designer Pro X software. You'll be able to get it during the year. So that's exciting news. So once you open up the uh, Designer Pro X software, you'll be greeted by an introduction, kind of like a first look, kind of welcoming, welcoming you to the uh, Zara Designer Pro X software. These are some of the things that you can edit and produce in this software. You can um, edit PDF files, MS Word documents, you can edit websites, interactive presentations. So you see the icons here. And it kind of just gives you a brief overview of how you can open new files, kind of like your standard Microsoft uh, file open structure. So you're able to uh, open various uh, file components and I'll kind of show you here what you can open. Um, let's see files. So you have uh, drawings, text files. You can, of course, open your Pro X extension files, JPEGs. So this is pretty much you kind of opening or another way to kind of import a project, even Adobe Photoshop. So if Adobe Photoshop is one of those deals that it's expensive for you to, you know, kind of pay a monthly fee, or if you are like me, you want to own the software, um, you may want to look at purchasing the Zara um, Designer Pro X software. It's $299. And the reason it's $299 versus any other Zara products is because it is a all-in-one solution. So you're able to design websites, you're able to apply different filters to photos and edit and do presentations. So that's why it costs that much. So most of the time when people have to upgrade to a new, newer version of a software, they want to know, hey, what's new? So I'm going to kind of see if I can walk you through what's new. Um, We'll go and check it out instead of me trying to show you in the software right now. I'll kind of show you what Zara has presented that's new. And some of these things you may have seen in other softwares that I've reviewed. So it's um, not anything that you haven't seen. But if you're joining us for the first time, you'll be delighted to know that you're able to do a lot of cool, amazing things with the Zara Designer Pro X software. So it has new scrolling animations. And then once you buy it, you do get a free uh, website M included, so it's hosting. And then you get two gigabytes of free web hosting space and one free domain. One thing that I love about the new enhancements or the thing or the direction that Zara has gone on with their online designer uh, or web designers is the ability to go online. So you don't have to have the software to change any text or add any images you'll be able to go in the cloud and make any changes this uh, was one con that I had back in the day uh, was because I was unable to give a client access to the software without actually installing the software on uh, his or her machine or the company's machine so your client will now be able to edit software with the Zara online designer they'll be able to um, take that uh, dot web or web file and make any changes that may need to be made and so you're able to set photo filter presets amongst other things as you can see here and note this URL here if you want to go on your own time and check out what's new and any other enhancements now, one of the most frequent used components of this software is the design gallery. One thing you'll notice here is it's the local design gallery. And in former or previous versions of the software, you'll notice that when you click on websites, you would have a lot of the um, templates by Zara here. Now they've gone to a more cloud-based solution. So you'll have to be connected to the internet. You'll be able to click more online. And once you do that, you'll be able to access all of the templates that you're familiar with. And you'll be able to design, I mean, download those to your local design gallery. So once you do download it, say, for instance, I want to open this, what it'll do, it'll download and save a copy of that to my local design gallery. As you can see here, it's contacting the host. 
and then the gist of it is is once this downloads as you can see here I'll have the wild side theme one thing about that is it allows you to uh, download the content that you only want to deal with so you're not crowded with a lot of templates or social media uh, components uh, presentation components and different um, add-ons that you n don't necessarily use so it'll allow you easy access to those things you frequently use and if you want to kind of keep things in decency and in order this is a great perk of that and so you'll be prompted to install the font for that and once you do that you'll be able to pull up that template and so that's pretty cool another example I'll kind of show you for those who may be coming from a Photoshop environment I'll see if I still have any um, filters or such that was done in Photoshop so I have something from snapchat for those of you who like to use snapchat or use those filters on that snapchat you'll be able to see this example here I may want to go here to a new tab okay so I open it up And then I'll just insert here and so there you have it so you'll be able to edit any PSD or Photoshop uh, files that you have you'll be able to go in and resize you'll be able to add text and do a number of other things to that file so after the break I'll kind of show you some of the features that I like um, and that I've used in the regular Zara Designer Pro X and so stay locked in and so hopefully you're still with us now one of my favorite features is the magic erase feature which allows you to take your masking tool here and then you're able to let's zoom in some I'll go in as close as possible and then I'll be able to go in here and mask the area of the picture that I want to keep so you can get as detailed as you need to be and, and just a little disclaimer this will not be perfect because you definitely need to take your time and so what you'll be able to do is definitely um, help remove some of the background here and so let me go back here and there are other ways that you can you know remove a person from a picture and add them to another background you'll use the the freehand tool to do that but um, that takes a little bit more detail and I can show you how to do that in another video on a how-to video since this is kind of a review slash kind of hands-on I kind of want to show those that may be new to Zara Designer Pro X what you can do okay so what I'm gonna do is take the eraser tool and what you can do, you can erase as much of the background as you want. I think the more the merrier. So I'm going to just kind of erase a little bit of more. Like I said, it's not going to be very perfect, but I'm going to remove as much and let this program know exactly what I don't want to keep. Trying to get there. And I'll take some of this grass out because I don't want that. And then you have this erase background uh, button here. You just want to press that. And the software does the magic for you of erasing as much of the background as possible. You may have to do some cleanup. See, of course, I didn't do a great job, but you know, not ideal, but you get the gist of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my control Z button to undo. Another feature that I do love is the, if I can get to it, the magic erase clone feature, which the clone feature, you can clone various aspects of this, um, you know, of this photo. But one thing I like is you can remove objects from the picture. And so I'm just going to hit the magic erase button. 
and voila, she's not there anymore. I'm going to zoom in at about a 500. And so you, you can see a little bit of distortion there while I, I took her out. But for the most part, if you zoom out, unless somebody really zooms in, they're not going to be able to see from this view that there was a person there. So there she is. There she isn't. I know that's not good English, but you get the gist. So let's kind of recap here. Zara just released the Zara Designer Pro X 365. 365 means you have a guarantee that you will receive updates throughout the year. I've shown you um, some of the bases of the file open structure, some of the files that you can import. I also showed you the local design gallery and how you can go into the cloud and, and download the content that you need. If there are any other questions or any other videos you would like to see from Spears Computer World, please feel free to drop a comment and I will do a video of a feature or some kind of help if you're having issues with a certain feature in Zara, your Zara product, I do not mind helping. So drop that comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. This is Spears Computer World. We're signing out and I want you to know that this is a great alternative to an Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator software because you can purchase it for $300, but you get an all-in-one solution with a Photoshop ability, um, web design, desktop publishing capabilities. So if you want to give this a try, go to Zara.com, go to the download tab, and you'll be able to get a free trial. And guess what? You can get a 30-day free trial of the product if you go and register the product with a um, registration uh, serial code. It'll be for the trial period so instead of getting like seven days you'll get a full month to try this out with the full features so once again this is spears computer world signing out